Hello everyone, Anthony LaBella here with a new episode of Challenge Accepted, the weekly live stream for GameRevolution.com, in which I play difficult games or attempt challenges in those difficult games. And today, I'm going to be playing Spelunky. I love Spelunky. I'm kind of surprised I haven't already done an episode featuring Spelunky. I thought I had. I went through the YouTube playlist and realized I had not. So I didn't really have any other ideas for this week, and I figure, you know what? It's always a good time to play Spelunky. It's difficult, very challenging, and it's a ton of fun. So I'm going to stream that today, and my goal, it's a bold one. I am going to try to get to Hell, which is the secret fifth world in the game. I know a lot of people have done it, but it's not an easy thing to do. I've only done it once. I did it on the Vita version of the game, which is where I usually play Spelunky. I think it's a perfect portable game. I love playing it on the Vita. I'm playing it on PC today, and I'm going to try to get back to hell for the second time. It's a very long and complicated process. I hope I can at least get close. I'll do my best. And on this PC version, this is on my desktop that I got late last year. I've only played twice on this computer. and. As you can see here, I've only played twice. I got to the fourth level both times and made some decent money, so hopefully that is a good sign for today's stream. Uh, and as I play, I'll explain the process to get to hell. You have to collect a series of items in a specific order and do a ton of stuff along the way. But let's just go ahead and get started here. And the, the music on this game is a bit loud, so if anyone's watching live and you can't hear me, just let me know and I can turn that down. Hopefully it's okay at the moment. And I always use the blue guy. I always use the blue guy. I don't know why. He's my good luck charm, I suppose. We're going to stick with that. And... Let's begin. So because I usually play this on the Vita, it takes me a little while to get used to the 360 controller again, but uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So for those who aren't too familiar with Spelunky, it's, you know, it's been out for some years now, but I know not everyone plays this kind of game. The rule with this first world, the mines, is that you always want to be carrying an item because of those traps, like the one I just set off over here. They do a ton. They do a ton of damage. They'll do two damage if you get hit by one and knock you out. Uh, so what you want to do is always be carrying an item to activate those without getting hit by them. Like right there. Oh my goodness! I didn't see that one. I got lucky with the web blocking the shot. Uh, but yeah, those things are everywhere in this first area, the mines. When you get to the second area, which is the jungle, you don't have to really worry about that anymore. Uh, and the dog I'm carrying is a damsel who will give me more health if I'm able to take them to the exit without them dying. So that's my goal here. Once I get up to six health, I don't really care about the damsels anymore. Six health is usually enough to, you know, help you help you out and let you make a few mistakes along the way. Not really bother past that point. I'm gonna take this pot in with me to the next level. Always be carrying ABC. So, dog licked me. Now I have five health. That's how that works in real life too, right? When a dog licks you, you can survive longer in life. I've never tried it, I wouldn't know. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some bombs. I'm not concerned about my high score, so I'm just gonna buy what I need, and it's always good to have more bombs. Those are very important. Alright, so here is the first step to taking the journey to hell. The first thing I need to do is collect an item called the Eye of uh, I don't remember the specific name. I have something. And in order to get that, I need to unlock this chest. So now, I need to keep an eye out for the key as well. And hopefully it's in an easy to reach place. 
Another another good beginner's tip for Spelunky, for those who want to really get into it and beat the game. Uh, you want to take it slow? I don't do that. But that's because I've played so much Spelunky that I'm used to it by now. But uh, typically you want to be walking all the time. I run everywhere. Just because I'm so used to the game at this point. I still make mistakes doing that, but uh, not too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock the chest while we're here. That key. Alright, so now I have the eye, which allows me to see through the dirt. So, you know, I can see that jewel there. See various items hidden in the environment. I hate these bats. Okay. Oh, god damn it! See that? That's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine in that. You'll sometimes get... Oh boy, this might be bad. Yeah, oh, I'm already making really stupid mistakes. I was trying to throw it up to activate it. Without getting hit. Obviously, I failed. Uh, I always hate when there's a trap to the left or right. You can look up and see higher by doing that. Or you can look down. You can't do that left or right because you're moving. So if, if you happen to get unlucky and come across a trap like I just did, you're kind of screwed. Then again, if I was walking, like I said, if I were taking it a bit slower, I might have caught that beforehand, but I did not. And the key here is to not give up now that I have one health. I can still salvage this if I can find another damsel and you know, just make it to the next level. I'll be in okay shape. Oh. Oh, I was wondering why that triggered because I forgot to, because I'm playing this on the desktop. There are a bunch of items I haven't discovered yet in the journal, so I might see that pop up pop up a lot. Alright, another important item along the way is the glue. And you can sometimes buy it. It might be at the merchant, the shopkeeper, but the easiest way is to kill this giant spider by doing that. The webs make it easy to actually um, blow them up. And now I have paste, which uh, allows me to stick my bombs to surfaces, like a sticky bomb. And that uh, is a lot more useful than a regular bomb. Regular bombs are better in certain situations, but for the most part, you want you want a sticky bomb. They're a lot easier to aim, obviously, and all that good stuff. I'm trying to take it nice and slow here. Cannot get hit again. Oh! And I walked into it. Are you kidding me? God damn it. It's my instinct to just walk into it thinking it's a jewel, but it can sometimes be an enemy. And it was a spider. Damn it. I de That's annoying because I had found the jewel already. Not the jewel, the eye. The eye I was looking for, so. Sometimes it can be hard to get if you can't find the key or if the key's in a hard to get spot and you don't have enough bombs. So that sucks that I screwed that up. Oh well, I'm going to be streaming for about an hour, hour and a half, I'll have plenty of opportunities. Typically an average place, I, I, so uh, you can't keep track of your hours on the Vita version obviously, but what I do is I I figure my average play time is 7 minutes, and I think that's being very conservative, and then every time I've beat, I finish the game, every time I beat it, that's you know 20 minutes. And I beat it six times, so through that calculation, I've put maybe 35 hours into the beta version, and only five or six on this PC version. So. Let's try to trigger this spider and not get hit. Okay, that was close. Oh boy. 
Being a little risky there. Hey there, Captain Doby. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Alright, doggy. Get over here. Okay, I think... I'm afraid that bat is gonna hit me if I trigger it, but I want that jewel. I'm gonna chance it. Alright, we're good. See you later, bat. I don't have time for you. Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting that skeleton to rise from the dead. Oh wow, that, that bat came a long way. It really wants to kill me. Okay, take my rock with me. And move on. Alright, that was a good, good first level there. Got a lot of money. Hopefully the shopkeeper has bombs. So these, you can you can put the damsels on here to sacrifice them. If you sacrifice a certain number of enemies or damsels, you I think you get a special cup that lets you carry blood, which heals you. I've never actually done that. Considering how much time I've put in this game, I'm surprised I've never tried that, really. I just, I've heard about it and seen it in streams. Oh, that spider making me nervous. It's a lot of bats. It's a lot of bats. Okay, how about we go this way? You can trigger them one at a time. I get very nervous around the bats in this game. Okay. I don't think the key and chest are on this level, so I'm just gonna move on. Do need to keep an eye out for those, though. I, I, I'm debating whether or not I should kill myself in the game if I don't get the key and chest, because the goal here is to get to hell. So I've done that before where I want to get to hell, and I miss the key and chest, but I keep going, and I have... I've actually beaten the game probably three or four times doing that. And it pains me to pass up the opportunity to beat the game again, but I need to keep my goal in mind here. Oh, that scorpion. I don't want him to see me. I really don't want him to see me. Yeah, that's, that's the problem, exactly. The hitbox on the bat is... I suppose it's consistent, but it's not what you'd expect at times. You know, even after hours with the game, it, it can it can throw you off. Especially in the heat of a moment where you're just trying to get away or something like that. Ooh, okay, we're not going for those jewels. I will take the damsel. I also find myself getting hit by the blue snakes a lot, but that's my own fault. I think one more block and I would have taken damage from my fall. I was chancing it there. Yeah, these guys I sometimes have trouble with. But, uh, I'm gonna kill him, so he does not hit me. Alright. Come back, damsel. Don't run away. I'm saving you. I'm not the villain. Then again, look at this guy's facial hair. Makes me suspicious. Alright, skeleton. Did I leave a rock back here? Okay, I'll take the skull with me, I guess. The only problem with that is if you throw it, drop it from a great height, it breaks. Whereas a rock or arrow, you know, you can just carry around as much as you want. Alright, this is the last level where the chest and key can be. It must be on this level. I don't think I missed it. I've been keeping an eye out. I hope I didn't miss it. Oh, jeez. That's another thing. That's my own fault for not being more vigilant, but those spiders can be up there and you'll have no idea if you don't look up. Be awfully dangerous. Right. 
Where are you? Chest and... Be here somewhere. Um... Let's look over here. Huh. Well, I see a box that I want. Look at that. It's a damsel. I'm not seeing a key or a chest anywhere. I might be in trouble. Bombs. I think I'm in trouble. I think I might have missed the, uh... I think I might have missed the chest somewhere in the previous level. Oh! Careful with that. Damn it! Yeah, it's nowhere to be seen. I must have missed it. Alright, well, the goal is to get to hell, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it adventure. Who knows how he died? He just did. Okay, quick restart. So that might be the biggest challenge here, is that I was really, I was feeling really confident with that run. I think I could have gone a long way. But I had to give up there. In pursuit of hell. Always like seeing boxes. Although I didn't really need the pitcher's mitt. Open for bombs or ropes. I don't know if the uh, the lock the uh, locked chest can be on the first level. I've never really considered that. it can. I don't remember ever finding a chest on the very first level. Okay. Alright, I think we're in the clear. Let's move on. I should save my ropes. Just thinking about going up there. Alright, what do you sell? Oh, he's selling bombs. I want those. Definitely want that. How much is a shotgun? 15,000? A little short of that. So actually, if I ever do have enough money to get the shotgun at the shop, I might do that because... The second phase of the journey to hell is very difficult. Um, I mean, it's much harder than just stumbling across a, you know, chest. You actually have to kill a bunch of shopkeepers, which is not an easy thing to do. But you don't have to kill them. It also does have a lot of gold on hand, but that never happens. Alright, I'm still not seeing a chest or anything. Don't think it's on this level. Alright, let's move on again. I haven't seen a big spider either. I need my 
I need my paste for my bombs. Damsel. Oh, jeez. Caught me off guard there. Oh, there's a spider. Here's a big one. He's in a precarious spot, though. It's gonna be... Ah, it won't be that bad, actually. Oh, no, no, no! I didn't mean to throw it there! I wanted to... Mm. Oh, I screwed up. Ah, just forget it. Might be another big spider later. Oh, jeez. Ooh, if I get the spike boots and I can jump on it. Did it come down here? Okay. New plan. We're gonna jump on it and kill it. Yeah! Die! Aha! I don't think I've ever done that before, but that was satisfying. Alright, I hope I didn't skip the chest along the way. I didn't really get a chance to look with him chasing me. Please be on the next level. Okay, didn't even have to use my rock there. Oh god, okay. And I kind of want to look over there, but that scorpion would be nasty. Okay. Alright, no chest, no chest. Miss it again. Are you coming with me, dog? I only have three health. Oh, jeez. That scared me. Did I get hit by that? I only have three health. Oh, the spider, I think. I think the spider, the big spider, got me. Hi there, Golden McNugget. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. There's the chest. Okay, good. It is on this level. So, now we need to find the key. And, uh... Because I have ten bombs, I want to blow that up and get the, uh... Get the box there. You always want to go... Oh, come on! Really? I don't think I... Okay, I don't think I got hurt. Um, you always want to go for these boxes. They might have bombs or... Or a useless web gun. Great. Or, you know, I was about to say it could have a shotgun in there. Extra bombs, extra ropes. But no, we get a web gun. My favorite. Right. Where's that key? There it is. Oh, how convenient. Alright. So first we need to take the damsel. and put him down safely somewhere. Alright. We'll get my rock. Or actually the chest. Oh, this is I think this is the last level in the mine, so I don't need to carry anything with me. Okay. Didn't get this. Oh no, the ghost. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Time to get out. Time to get out. Yes, Tunnel Man. No, you can't have anything. Yeah, so when I say useless, I mean for my playstyle. I know there are a ton of items that are useful for more experienced players. I'm sure the web gun has its purposes. I think I've heard the camera can be good in certain situations. I never use the camera. Uh... 
So yeah, there are a lot of items, I just don't know their best use. So, you know, the web gun falls under that category. I don't typically use it, but I'm sure others would. Alright, so the next goal, which I'm actually pretty close to. So the goal here, for those who joined late, I'm trying to get to hell. I've only been there once. So this is a tall task. I've played a lot of this game and only done it once, but I'm trying to get back. Um, so there are two goal. There, are, the second step to getting to hell is uh, now that I have the eye, I have to find the secret entrance to the black market. And when it glows like that, you're close. So it's actually right here. It's right here. Um, you can kind of see the leaves in the background look a little different, uh, which gives it away. So I'm gonna blow that up, and there it is. That's actually, that's very convenient. It's not usually that close by on the first level in the jungle. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna maybe look around a little more. I, I might want that crown down there for more gold. At the very least. Can I get up? Okay, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and set a rope here and then blow this up. There we go. Always use a little extra cash. And I'm just going to go straight to the black market here. I don't have a lot of bombs, so this might be tricky. This might be the hardest part. I, I, I usually screw this up, but I'm going to try my best here. If anyone has any hot tips for dealing with the black market, feel free to share them. I, don't, I just kind of wing it and uh, throw bombs and try to lure them out as best as I can. Uh, I have I have beaten the game. I've beaten it, well, you know, the normal way. So Olmec, as I said, I've only gotten to hell once and I, I've never finished hell. Um, I've beaten it six times on the Vita version. Uh, I've never beat it on uh, 360 or PC. I'm playing PC right now. Uh, okay, so okay, there are a lot of bombs. If I can kill all these guys. I only have seven to actually use here, though. So this is what I usually do. I don't know if this is a good strategy or not, but I uh, I get up here and I just kind of blow my way through. Or sometimes they get out like that. Oh, I was trying to stick him with it. Oh, he walked into it. Perfect. Okay. So where'd that shotgun go? Okay, so now I can uh, pick that up and... I fucked up. Damn it. I probably shouldn't have done that. Because the guy over there was already moving. So... If he's far enough over there, you can get a shotgun shot off and hit him. But that was stupid of me, because he's already moving. I had already activated all the shopkeepers. I should have should have stayed back and watched his movements, see if he came to the left. And Damn it! I really screwed that up. Okay, like I said, I'm really bad when it comes to the black market part. So, it's not unusual for me to make a mistake like that. I really wish I had played it safer and not... Tried to shoot him. I get so happy when I see a shotgun. Shotguns are awesome. Can't help myself. Like a kid in a candy store. Alright. Well, at least I made it to the black market that time. I'm improving. Getting closer. traps on this one. There we go. So what's your experience with uh, Spelunky Golden McNugget? Sounds like, sounds like you've played a bit of it, I guess. seeing any chests, so we can move on. Actually, yeah, there's nothing over there. Okay. Next level.
Get up there? No. Wow, you have all the achievements? There are... I assume you're talking about the PC version then. Isn't there... I think there are some crazy achievements in this game. One of them is... Oh shit, that was close. Uh, I think it's to beat the game without collecting gold, is that right? And then, and then obviously there's the speedrun achievement where you have to beat it in under 8 minutes, I think. So, uh, my hat's off to you, Golden McNugget. That's impressive. I am obviously nowhere near that good. But hey, I'm just happy to have finished the game. So, I, so my history with Splunky is a little strange. Not strange, but, uh, it wasn't smooth all the way through. So I played it when it, I played the remake when it came out on Xbox Live Arcade that, you know, 2012, I think it was. And I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. Uh, and I played maybe 10 hours of it and thought, oh, this game's too hard. It's okay, but you know, I'll never beat it. So I, I didn't play it beyond that. And then in, uh, was it 2013, it came out on Vita, PS3, and PC. And I thought, you know what, I'll give it another shot. So I bought it on PSN. I played a little bit of it on the Vita and still thought, you know, it's pretty good, but I don't think too much of it. Uh, but then I started... Oh, come on, really? That sucks. Anyway, <laughs> then I started watching some streams. I watched Patrick play it on Giant Bomb. And I thought, man, there's more to this game than I realized. You know, with the black market stuff and all the secret items. And I thought, you know, I should give this more of a shot. So I picked up again on Vita and started playing. Started doing the daily challenges and got really obsessed with it in 2013. Uh, and just played a ton of it. And since then, I, I, I absolutely love this game. I still pick it up and do daily challenges every now and then when I get a chance. Uh, and like I said, I've beaten it six times on the Vita, so... Not too bad. I, I never thought I'd beat it once, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh yeah, absolutely. The jetpack is awesome. If I ever have the money for that at the shopkeeper, I will certainly get that. See, the thing is, though, you'll have a, you'll have a, oh shit, you'll have a jetpack, and I, I've had a jetpack and a shotgun many times before, and one time I beat the game like that, but then you get so confident that you get cocky, and you make really dumb mistakes if you have both of those at the same time, and I've also done that before. This is gonna be... This makes me nervous right here. Okay! Ooh, I was afraid I might fall on the spikes there. Step on Scorpion. Spider. So I don't need to look around too much now that I already have the eye. Just make sure I get to the next level. Although I do want that damsel with me. I'm low on health. Oh, damn it. I still want the damsel. I have seven bombs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Hell out of here. Yeah, being patient and relaxing is a... It's very important in this flunky. <laughs> that is absolutely true. Um, so here's another crazy story. Uh, the first time... So I said I've gotten to hell once, and that's true. So that means I've only I've only gotten to the City of Gold once as well, which is one of the steps along the way, obviously. And uh, when I did that, I was in a public place, so I was in between classes. Oh come on! Really? <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Oh man! But I get for telling the story and not paying attention. All right. Uh, yeah, when I first got to the City of Gold for the first time, I was in a public place. I was in between classes back when I went to UC Davis a few years back. I think it was a couple years ago, actually. Well, if I was playing the Vita version, it came out in 2013, so one or two years ago. Um, I was in between classes, and I figured, I'll play a little Spelunky. And I got all the way to the City of Gold for the first time, and then I got to Hell for the first time. And I was shaking. I... I I was so nervous, and uh, 
I could tell there was a, there was a person sitting next to me, wondering what the hell was going on because my hands were shaking as I was playing the game, <laughs> and they were they were probably wondering what was going on. Could not believe it. Ooh, look at all of that. I want all of it. Okay. Let's, uh... I shouldn't have gone down one like I just did. Actually, if I can get it right here. Perfect. Okay. Oh! So that's usually at the bottom. There are actually two of them here, apparently. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Huh. Interesting. There's always guaranteed to be one in the bottom of a snake pit like this, but <laughs> it's funny that I came across one in a box as well. Oh, this bat's gonna make my life hell, isn't he? Oh, this might be bad. Okay. That was close. Alright, more bombs and more ropes. Perfect. Alright, and we have a damsel along the way. That's nice. Oops! God damn it! That was stupid. I can't believe I did that. All those little mistakes start to add up. That was pretty bad. Okay. So let's bomb our way through here. Why did I do that? I have the... I forgot I had the one in the box. I didn't need to use a bomb there. That was a waste. Yeah, Hell's pretty crazy the one time I got there. I, I'm i pretty sure I died on the first level of Hell. I don't think I got anywhere. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy. A lot more threats when you get to Hell. Oh, no. Okay, I need to start moving. Which way? Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, damsel. We gotta go. You know what? I think I agree. If I had to compare my my sense of nervousness when I first fought Flame Lurker and Demon Souls or went to Hell and Spelunky, I, I think I was also more nervous reaching Hell. I'd even say I was more nervous just getting to the City of Gold because I... Uh, oh, I know why I was... You know, obviously I was nervous for just the reason of it's hard to do. But uh, I remember I had the key to the City of Gold or whatever item you need to get there. I saw it, it was on the screen, and then I got killed by one of those moving platforms. What are they called? I forget what they're called, but I got killed by one of those. I was looking at the City of Gold, I had the key, and I died, I died right there. And I was devastated. I was devastated, I thought I'd never do it again. I was so upset. So that only made it that much sweeter when I actually did it the second time. Alright, the eye's blinking, so it's around here somewhere. Once again on the first level. Oh, I think it's above me, right? No? I guess not. Where is it? Alright, it's not blinking anymore. Trying to see if I can see it in the background. Okay, now it's blinking less again. Right, the scepter. That's what that's what it was. From uh the enemy you have to kill. Where is it? I hope it's below me and I'm not skipping it. It'd be above me too, I'm not sure. Well I do have nine ropes if I make a mistake here and have to go back up. Um, I think I'm getting closer. Oh, it's above me? 
above. Hey, I'm trying to look for the grass that gives it away. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking actually it might be down here. Alright, I'm starting to take a little too long here. The ghost is going to show up eventually. Oh, now it's not blinking at all. Damn it. Oh, no, I took too long. But I need to find it. That's the whole goal of this stream, is to get to hell. I can't abandon my quest now. Alright, I've... Usually when I see the ghost, I just get the hell out of here, but, uh... We're gonna have a little adventure this time. Okay, it must be up here somewhere. Yeah, the Twitch delay is going to make it tough for, you know, when you're telling me it's above or below. It's blinking quite a bit here. But then it's also blinking... Hmm. Oh boy! Get up there! <laughs> oh god! It's in the water somewhere! In the water! Okay, let's try it. Oh man. Alright, come on, ghost. So, I've heard of ghost mining. Is it that every jewel he goes over turns into a diamond, right? So, is that diamond now? Okay. Uh... Where are you, Black Market? Please, I'm begging you. There's a fucking ghost chasing me. Oh boy, okay. Well, oh, there's a diamond. Oh boy. Let's do some ghost mining <laughs> while we're here, shall we? I've never done that before. Oh boy. Mmm! Okay, come a little lower, come a little lower. I'm going back up top. It's blinking a lot here as well. Oh, that's not a good idea. Uh oh. Oh boy! This is kind of fun just doing this. <laughs> Seeing how long I can last against this stupid ghost. Okay, uh, do you guys, am I completely missing it? I honestly have no clue. I can't see the grass in the background to give it away anywhere. Uh, the blinking isn't really helping. It's not very up. Okay, so yeah, let's try to narrow it down so it's up, right? Is it on a higher level of this level? If that makes any sense? Because that's what I'm thinking too. Right, I need to get the ghost off my back first. Alright, Blink's there. So it's in, it seems to be in the middle. Well, maybe more to, towards the right. So more towards the right somewhere, so I should probably go back towards the entrance. And then look there. I'm starting to run out of supplies though, I don't have that many ropes or bombs left. Also, he, he can also just go vertically like that, so... Yeah, maybe it was near the entrance at the whole time? No, it's not blinking here. Yeah, well, he's dead. Oh, I'm so stumped. I'm afraid because I don't have that many bombs left. That's my only concern. I just... If I had more bombs, I would just go crazy with the bombs right now and do it that way. I only have the four of them, so...
Alright, it's not blinking at all when I'm down here, so it's not down here. It's kind of blinking there. Yeah, come lower. Under the entrance, maybe. Okay, let's take a look. Right, I'm gonna wait for him to come over here, so he doesn't come up from below me. right above and it's just there are a lot of layers in between it I only have two bombs left oh you know what I, I threw that the wrong way I wanted to throw it there oh I thought that was it for a second damn it oh no 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 get up get up get up oh jeez <laughs> oh no I have no bombs left I have one health the ghost is chasing me this is real bad guys it's gonna be an absolute miracle if I can still make it to the black market, but I have a plan. Have a plan. And then I'll have no bombs to deal with the shopkeepers even if I make it. Come on, we can still salvage this. I see a diamond I want. Take that. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up. Oh boy. I'm trapping myself here. This is bad. Oh, okay. I kind of touched him there and he still didn't get me. Okay, so I think I want to just break rocks around the entrance and work my way from there, but... Oh, you're right. I do have the money for the Ankh. I didn't even realize that. It's 50000 Oh, yeah. If I could just make it to the black market, I could go ahead and buy it. I didn't even consider that. And I think I'd still have enough to buy a few bombs, too, if they're selling them. Alright, but first I just need to get this stupid ghost off my back. Might be under those two tiki traps, okay. Oh, oh no, okay. I panicked. That ghost is really scary, guys. <laughs> he made me kill myself, he didn't even touch me. Wow, that was an 18 minute <laughs> attempt, and I only made it to the first level of the jungle. <laughs> that was actually kind of fun, I like that. I've never tried to dodge the ghost for that long. That, that was a new spelunky experience for me, I I quite enjoyed that. Okay, <laughs> well, let's try to get to the black market without all of that this time. That spider. Yeah, it sucks that they put the entrance to the black market there. It was just in such a an inconvenient spot for me. With how many bombs I had and what I was working with at the moment. Oh god damn it! Why am I not paying attention? I almost want to forfeit this one right now. I'm already down to two health. But hey, I shouldn't say that. Because I have done well, ha you know, only having one health and thinking, oh, this is worthless, and then I get close to the end. Or I'm pretty sure I beat it one time when I had one or two health after the first level. Look at that. Already got a damsel. Back up to three. Uh, jump! I'll take your ropes. You can always use more ropes. See a bo Oh, the key! Oh, I think it's blocked off though. Damn it. So I'm gonna have to use some bombs to get there. I think. I think I'm gonna have to use three bombs to get there. Do one there. And then off to do another one here, and then one more to go down. Well, that sucks. Hopefully... 
I, f I find more shopkeepers that are selling bombs eventually. Or hey, maybe that box will have some bombs. That would be awfully nice. Whoa! <laughs> before you type that, before you even type that, I was going to say, I bet you did it, didn't you? Wow. That's incredible. So for those who maybe watch the archive of this later, Golden McNugget was saying in chat that uh, his friend dared him to beat hell with one health from the beginning of the game, and he did it. That's, that's insanity. I'll never be that good at a video game, but I always love hearing stories like that. I'm always impressed with that kind of stuff. Another game that I'm surprised I haven't done an episode of Challenge Accepted of yet is Volgar the Viking, and I bring that up because that's the one game in the world in which I'm really confident in my abilities, um, because it's been a while now, so I'm sure I fell down on the leaderboards, but I beat it in a certain amount of time. I think it was maybe 70 minutes. So the first time I beat it, it took me, you know, eight hours, and I used checkpoints and all that, but now I can beat it in one sitting consistently in 90 minutes or less. I think my best time was 70-something minutes, which was in the top 100 of the leaderboard when I did it. I'm sure it's dropped well below that, because that was months ago, but I was really happy with that. And I've said before, if I were to ever speedrun a game, it would probably be Volgar the Viking. Oh, I, oh we got a secret character. And a ton of spiders. Okay, that's no good. A lot of spiders. Oh boy. Oh god damn it. Once again. Caught not paying attention. I was looking at all the big spiders below. And I wasn't looking above me. Yeah, I can imagine you'd want to take your time. Oh! Damn it! I was distracted by her coming out of the chest. Or the coffin, rather. Oh boy. Alright. Um, yeah, I can imagine you'd want to be very careful with only one health that entire time. I'm going to try to look above me a little more often. Getting hit by too many of these stupid, uh... Whoa! These stupid spiders. walked into that. I'm <laughs> so close. So I, I've, I've often wondered this to myself. On some level, I think it sounds ridiculous, but then again, maybe it's just because I'm so used to it, but uh, I do so much better when I play this game on the Vita. Uh, if I, anytime I've tried to play it on 360 or PC, I perform much worse. And don't make it nearly as far. I mean, some of it is that I'm trying to get to hell on this run. So there's the one time I was doing really well, and then I killed myself because I missed the key. But, oh, jeez. Um, yeah, anytime I load this up on PC, I don't do nearly as well. Then again, I suppose if I weren't focusing so much on the eye and the uh, black market, that would help. That's part of it. Alright, speaking of... Oh, okay. Uh, I actually thought I would make it, that's why I did that. But it was a little closer than I had anticipated. I nearly got my head hit by that arrow. Let's ignore that. Oh, 
Alright, well, if he's just gonna be stuck up there... Oh! Okay, I don't think he'll... I don't think he'll get me. There we go. Oh, no, he got down. Never mind. Don't want him hanging, hanging around. Okay, so... Compass... So, jetpacks are 20,000. Attic is 7. I'm gonna go ahead and get the compass. Always good to have a compass. You can you can whip the air. Do you mean in midair? I never even considered that. You can whip the arrow in midair. I mean, I'm sure the timing is crazy, but that, that would how awesome would that be? If I could do that. Whoa. Not seeing a key or a chest. You can let the arrow in midair. Wow, that It's pretty badass spelunker who can just whip arrows out of there. Alright, so we have uh, I'm gonna have to bomb my way to the key, but at least it's there. that and I'm gonna have to use a rope fortunately and I'm sure I'll come across the shopkeeper with more ropes and bombs Just need to make sure I get that eye see this is the kind of stuff that makes me nervous because well, I guess I should just run through and then wait for him to leap over to me. Then do a little bit of this. Or you could just stay up there? Okay. I'm definitely gonna go get that box. There we go, there's some more bombs. Alright, all I see over there are spiders and a scorpion. I'm ignoring all that. Alright, there's a big spider. I can get my paste from him. Oh, actually, he's blocked off in this area. Hope there's another one along the way. I'm trying to be extra cautious this time. Because I'm in pretty good shape, I have 5 health. Oh no, damn it. Wish I had not done that. We're good. good. Uh, another shopkeeper. Oh, shit! That was close. I was trying to look below to see what he's selling. Oof. Hey, look at that. Damsel right near the entrance. That's what I like to see. I could buy a bomb case for 10000 That would be most of my money, but having more bombs is always a good thing. On the downside, I'd have less money for, say, a shotgun or a jetpack, but... Uh, yeah, I'll take the bombs. Sure. I have 18 of them. That should help. Alright, one more mine level. I hope I at least get to the third one. The, uh... Ice caves. I'd at least like to make it that far in this stream. And again, that black market's going to be tricky. Alright, there's a box down there. I think I can get to it the normal way, though. Oh, maybe 
not. Hey, there's a box right here, so that's okay. Well, let's do another. I have 18 bombs at this point. I can afford to use a couple. I want that box. Hey, another 12 bombs. It was worth it. 28 bombs. Jeez. Okay, I really need some paste, though. I do not trust myself with regular bombs. Oh, that scorpion. That scorpion might be a problem. That's better. I lost my rock, though. Oh, oh god, no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, jeez. Just about had a heart attack there. Oh, man. That was scary. Oops. I think we're good. I have the eye. 28 bomb. I didn't get the paste though. That's the one bad thing. That's gonna make it really hard for the black market. Have I gotten the Kapala? It doesn't ring any bells. Is that is that the drinking cup I was mentioning earlier, where you sacrifice people? No, Tunnel Man. I don't need your help. Go away. Oh, wow! Why am I getting in the first level so much? That never happens to me. Okay, so the black market entrance is somewhere in here. Where did it blink? Okay, blink so it's more to the right somewhere. Oh, that uh, red frog's making me nervous. I don't think it can get up, though. At least I hope not. Oh, shit! God damn it! I didn't think he was going to turn around right there. That was such a dumb mistake. It seems like it's really close. Is it above me or below? It's like... Oh, I don't have the sticky bomb, though. I was trying to stick it to the ceiling here. I forgot. Oh, that is the cup. Okay. I, yeah, I don't think I've gotten it before. Um, surprisingly enough. Okay, this is going to be really tough without sticky bombs. I'm not even sure I can do this. Especially if it's above me, which I think it might be. Oh no! Is that it in the background there? You hear the big frog? It's not blinking, I guess not. Man, the one time I have so many bombs and I don't have the pace. That sucks. Oh, that's right, it doesn't hurt him. Wondering if it's up here, maybe. Well, maybe if I work my way down and left from here, I can do it. Oh, get off me, get off me! Oh, here it is, it's right here! Get off me, stupid monkey! I'm taking my gold! Oh, wow, it's right next to the- Wow, it's right next to the shopkeeper there. Well, technically, he's not a shopkeeper. He's just the guy with a shotgun protecting treasure. Okay, yeah, this- oh, well, if one of them is selling paste, I can still salvage this. Yes! Yes, perfect. Okay. I'm just gonna go down and buy that paste. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to stick to my strategy this time. Now I have a ton of bombs, so it'll be a little more doable, I think. Although... Hmm. I don't like being so close to the wall here like this. 
Okay, we're good. That's what I wanted to do. Yes! I got him! Okay, perfect. So he's gonna die. This time I'm gonna wait a second. Because the guy on the right is going crazy at the moment, I'm sure. The only problem is he's not coming over here, so I don't know what he's doing. He could have gone to the right and fell down there. My only concern. And the other guy's shotgun fell all the way down there, I think. Yeah, it's all the way down there. Alright, I'm gonna pause. I, I want some advice on this, because this is... I can't stream for too much longer, and I would love to at least get the onk in this stream. So, uh... Any advice as to what I should do here? I'm afraid to go to the right, because I don't know what that shotgun guy's doing. And I can't pan the camera to the right. I'm afraid to go down and get the shotgun, because the guy's below me. Unless they fell down. Well, I'm not hearing them. Oh, yeah, they're still there. And yeah, I'm gonna pause so that the ghost isn't getting closer. I know that Twitch delay complicates things. So, what I could do is I could just kind of peek forward and hope the shotgun guy on the right isn't there anymore. I could go, try to risk it and go down and get that shotgun, which would help. Um, what else could I do? I could just throw some bombs across the way, in case he is over there. I can angle them correctly. Throwing bombs can be tough at times, trying to get the right angle. Uh, Alright, well I gotta make a decision here, so let's just... I think I can get that shotgun without getting hit. Yeah, they're trapped by the, uh, the what you call it. Right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, he's trapped by the... Oh, but now he's gonna be free with the explosion. Okay. Okay, okay, I think I can do this. Alright, if I can at least get the Onk, I'll survive if I die. Although, if I want to get to hell, I have to die at a specific point, obviously, but... Oh no! The ghost is coming! Shit, okay. The Onk. Oh no! Oh no! Shit! He picked up the shotgun again! He didn't have a shotgun a second ago! Oh man, I'm so sad right now. That sucks. Alright, well, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see how far I can get, because the stream's coming to a close here. Sadly, I did not get to hell, but, you know, that goal was probably unrealistic. So I'm just gonna see how far I can get playing normally here. No, I... The kickback on the shotgun took me up to the ghost. That's how I died there. I need to see that on the Twitch replay here. Yeah, the kickback on the shotgun took me up into the ghost. Because I was trying to kill that stupid bat. <laughs> Damn it. I think I would have done well with a shotgun. I think I at least... Because the third world, the... What is it? Frost Caves or whatever they're called. They're not that hard, really. Especially with the shopkeeper guarding the exit. He usually just falls off and kills himself. I could have made a good run there, damn it. Damn it! Stupid bat. Ruined everything. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more one more good attempt. You know, if I last two minutes, I'll I'll do another one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more time here, and then I'll call it a stream. That really sucks. Those are the kind of dumb mistakes I make though. That's that's par for the course when it comes to Amlabella playing Spelunky. That's, that's the kind of devastation I face on a regular basis.
Yeah, I feel like I maybe could have got to Olmec. Olmec. I'm pretty confident uh, once I get to the ice caves. For better or worse. Oh, that wasn't much to this level. Okay. As long as I didn't skip the chest, I, mean, I guess I'll move on. Not have done that. All right, what are you selling over here? I'll take some ropes. Sure. Sure, why not? For whatever reason, I always like having a rock instead of an arrow, even though they essentially serve the same purpose for activating those traps. If I have a choice, I pick up the rock instead. Alright, that's a lot of money and I have seven ropes. I'm gonna go ahead and try to I guess I have to take an arrow now. After I settle all of that. Uh, I can't get high enough. Damn it. No bat. Go away, bat. Bats might be my least favorite enemy in this game. They they're the easiest guy well so you know, they're they're very basic enemies and yet they cause the most trouble most of the time. a box that I think I can get at that taking a normal path, right? Yeah, and I push that through. It's doable. Ah. Hey, it still hit him. I mean, it's nice to have a parachute, but there are plenty of other items I'd rather have. Alright, I'm not seeing the uh, chest anywhere. Oh! I need to find something to carry into the next level. I don't think there's anything down here, sadly. Alright, hopefully there's a skeleton or a rock or something at the beginning of the next one. So, that's uh, that's one of the things I'm always curious about for people who do the speedrun achievement. Is that, you know, there are all those traps in the mines and then the fourth world. Uh, are you just so quick that you're usually missing the arrows, or do you still carry things around to activate them? 
Because on some level, it seems like you wouldn't even have enough time to do all that. Ooh, I can blow up that spider very easily. Just a little bit of that. Got my paste this time. Oh, there's okay. There's the chest. There are a bunch of bats. Do some boxes. Oh, you know what? If I could blow that up, I wouldn't have to use a bomb. But it would also be very risky. get this one though. I usually like to use my whip instead. Although, I don't know where this key is. Bit of a problem. Where is the damn key? Of course it's up there. Oh, I didn't mean to... Oh, we're still good. We're still good. Okay. There's a rope up there. Oh, now I get this box. More bombs. Okay. And let's get that key. Must... Now we need to start moving. That ghost is going to come back pretty soon here. Yep. Alright, ghost. Which way are you coming? Please come from the right. Please come from the right. Where is he? I'm afraid to go left if he's coming from that way. Ah, oh, shoot. Really? Really, ghost? Why you gotta do me like that? Okay. Okay. Let's get the hell. And you know what? I don't care about the damsel. I have five health. That's fine. I have the eye. Let's just move on. Oh, I didn't even realize I made it to the tunnels. Or, not the tunnels, the, uh... The jungle. Maybe I'll get lucky and the black market will be on level 1 again. Frogs. I hate these frogs. Actually, I might hate the frogs more than I hate the bats. Now that I think about it. Those frogs can be a real annoyance as well. Oh no, oh no. Like, right there. Okay. that bat. I don't think the black market is on this one. I actually have enough if I get to the black market I could just buy it and then make it easier on myself that way. The only thing is, it's really nice killing all the shopkeepers, because then you can just pick up all their items, then you have, you know, 40 bombs and 20 ropes and climbing gloves and all that good stuff. Oh, I hate these with the monkeys and then... Ah. Oh, I didn't mean to do two! Ah! Shit, I was trying to use that tip that, uh... 
a golden McNugget that said you can kill him with ropes. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's the thing. You think they can't jump as far as they actually can. That's the mistake I always make. I think, oh, they're not going to jump that far. And then... And then they do. Oh! Okay. Near the... Oh, it's right here! It's right here! Yes! Perfect. Okay, I'm getting the hell out. I think I might just buy the Ankh and see... I, I, I'm really bad killing the guys at the black market. Might be better to just buy it. Because I have 66,000. I don't care about high score. So I'd still have 16,000 left over to buy stuff. If I need more bombs or ropes or what have you. And then I won't have all those shopkeepers bothering me at the exits as well, which is nice. Alright, frog, don't screw this up. Don't screw this up, frog! God damn it. I'm just buying it. Playing it safe. Since this is my last attempt, I'm, I'm playing it safe. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead... I need ropes. Is anyone selling ropes? I need to be careful of this boomerang guy. I don't trust myself. I should be robbing this place, but I don't trust myself. Alright, there are no... There are no uh, ropes, so I'm just gonna buy bombs. I think I might also steal a boomerang while I'm here. Let's just buy a bomb box. I don't like having one rope, though. That's concerning. Fuck you, bat! Can we name this episode Challenge Accepted? Colon, fuck you, bat. Is that allowed? Am I allowed to do that? I'll have to ask. Because fuck you, bat. I hate you. So much. So much. It's no shotgun, but... I'll get the job done, at the very least. Alright, I'm finally moving on with the Ankh. <laughs> I mean, if I'd killed all the shopkeepers, those would have been a lot of bombs, but, uh... <laughs> I just... I'm so desperate for progress at this point. Okay, which way are we going? Ooh, I don't like this at all. Oh, sh fuck! God, no! Oh god! Oh my god. How much health do I have? Two? Okay. It's gonna say on my tombstone. Died of heart attack, plain spelunky. So what's it gonna say? Yeah, you know what? That's the thought. I, maybe I should have bought the shotgun so then I had a good weapon to use on them. I didn't even consider that. I kinda wish I had done that. Instead, oh well. Let's see what kind of progress I can make here. Oh, fuck you, monkeys! I also get really nervous on this part. Especially when there's a frog right there, okay. Yes! Okay, I finally made it to the ice caves. Finally made it to the ice case. All right, let's do this. Um, kind of wish I had a compass. Compass is always great for the ice caves because uh, it can be tricky finding the exit. I have no idea where it is right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's do that. And a little bit of that. And get out. <laughs> yes, on top of my tombstone are a frog and bat. That would be... That would be perfect. Ooh, I don't like this at all, because I can't tell what's below the falling platforms. 
Like, I could just jump down and chance... Well, obviously that Yeti is walking on a surface, so... I'm gonna do that, and then that, and then that. Okay. Oh, this is the uh, mothership level. Okay. Where can I go? This is tricky. I could blow my way through the ship and just go down that way. Okay, that... Whoa! Or they could do it for me. Okay. <laughs> that works. I'll take it. I have to be careful of the turret there. Okay, we're good, we're good. Um, ooh, I am nowhere near an exit, and I think I'm screwed. Actually, never say never. Um, oh boy, how am I going to do this? Okay, new plan. Get it up there. No, that's not where I wanted to throw it. God damn it. that and we climb up get rid of turret oh didn't hit it Shit. god damn it I am wasting these bombs by just horrible tosses <laughs> oh my god what is wrong with me <laughs> oh no okay I completely forgot I have the onk all right we're just gonna try to beat all mech that's the new goal New goal. Beat all mech. Okay. Oh man, this sucks. This sucks, guys. I hate this. Why is everything so horrible? I don't even know what I should do here. I guess I could do that. Get rid of the turret. Oh, the turret's still alive. Great. Okay. And there's the ghost. Well, it's been real, guys. It's been real. Oh, oh, no! Parachute! Go! Oh, my God! <laughs> that was the best. How am I still alive? Oh, my God. I should not be alive right now. Maybe this is a miracle run. If I had just lasted a little longer with that onk, though, I could have... Started the next step. Oh well. Alright, we have a shopkeeper. That was pretty crazy, guys. I have to say. What is he selling? I could always use more bombs. Alright, 21 bombs. Actually, how much is the bag? You know what? I'm in the bag too. I'm gonna have no money by the time I'm done with this. Okay, there's the exit. Oh no! But that's okay. I can just bomb my way this way. I was afraid of the mine there. No, not terrorist! What? No! I would like to add to my tombstone not a terrorist. So if we could get that, R.I.P. Anthony Labella, heart attack, plane Spelunky, not a terrorist, while the bat and frog sit atop my tombstone. <laughs> Damn this game, and yet I love it so. But that is going to do it for this stream. At least I made it to the ice caves. I mean, not my best performance, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> it was an exciting ending to the stream, I'll say that. Some stuff went down at the end there. Uh, but that's going to do it for this stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, you can give me more suggestions for the future. If there are future episodes you'd like to see. Uh, I'm Anthony Labella on GameRevolution.com. I am AM Labella on Twitter. So you can reach me there. Uh, this features every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time on this Twitch channel for GameRevolution.com. 
So we always appreciate uh, a follow on Twitch if you enjoy the feature and want to continue watching every week. I will be back next week with something new. Not sure what, but I'll come up with something. And I will hang around and chat for a few minutes, as always, if you have any last-minute comments or questions. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope to see you next time. You all have a wonderful Wednesday.